In the previous video, I shared content from another real estate agent in a different state because what he was saying was something I've been talking about uh, sometimes on here, on social media, and in person with some of my clients that I've been working with. And so the question is, if you haven't seen it, is should I wait to buy for when the interest rates go down again? And I just recorded an episode on my podcast. Check it out on Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts, or the Anchor app. You can get more detailed description, but what I'm going to tell you is a short version of it today here in this video. So in short, you should always buy when the buying of the property fits into your plan. Okay, it should not be about if it's a buyer's market, if it's a seller's market, it shouldn't be about where the interest rates are. And this is the reason why. So in 2020, 2020 and 2021, we saw historically low interest rates. What happened to the prices of real estate in almost every market in the country? The prices went up. Why did the prices go up? Because there were a lot of buyers who were trying to take advantage of that low interest rate to grab real estate. So if you were someone who bought at the beginning of that low interest rate, you had a fantastic opportunity. Everywhere in the country, at some point in 2021, the prices had gone up to where it no longer really was a benefit that the interest rate was so low. So what's going on right now? We have normal interest rates. Five to six percent is a very typical interest rate for a mortgage. In 2019, that's what it was. When I bought my place at the beginning of 2018, that's what the interest rate was. So what you can do if you buy, you know, whether it's this month or next month, anytime where this is a normal interest rate, you get the luxury of a lower price than when those interest rates fall. And the beautiful thing is that you can refinance when the interest rate drops again. So there's no loss for you if this is a good time for you to buy um, because you'll be able to get that low interest rate with a lower property value. So let's say, for example, you pay $200,000 on a property that last year was listed at two fifty dollars because the interest rate was so low and everybody and their mama was trying to buy houses. Well, now it's going to sell for about 200000 You got a higher interest rate, but when the interest rate drops, you refinance, you still got that big, beautiful house for that lower price, and you just locked in a lower note because the interest rate went down. Additionally, second reason, if you're paying rent, why are you putting money into somebody else's pocket? I want you to take right now. If you waited a year for the interest rates to drop again, because it might drop in about a year, I want you to calculate how much rent do you pay times 12. Look at that number. Let it marinate in your brain. That's money that you could have put toward your equity that you could use to invest in other things to grow your wealth. Why are you putting that money in someone else's pocket if you're in a position to buy? So you need to send me a text message. We need to have a conversation. You might not be ready to buy or you might be. By the end of our conversation, you're going to have the information and you can make that best decision for yourself. It should never be about buyer or seller market. It should be about where you are in your finances and structuring a plan that makes sense for you. So if you need more information than that, be sure to check out my podcast on Spotify, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasting. Look for Word of a Rebel and you'll find me. Peace.